Well, the holiday getaway is underway, at least the 2020 version of it. This is a live look now from Sky 9 over the Beltway there. Look at all those headlights and brake lights there where traffic is relatively light for the Wednesday before Thanksgiving. But despite appeals from leaders in D.C., Maryland and Virginia to avoid travel because of the threat of spreading or catching COVID-19, Millions of people are hitting the road anyway. Now, the number one mode of transportation by far, according to AAA, is the family car or the SUV. Uh, Scott Broom is among the travelers tonight on I-95 in Maryland. And Scott, what are people telling you about their decision to move forward? Well, uh, first, just while I was waiting to talk to you, over my phone came one of those emergency alerts, apparently from the state of Maryland. It says, protect your family, stay safe, wear a mask, social distance, all of that. So. Uh, the warnings are still out there, but I'll tell you what, the people I talked to today, clearly suffering from COVID fatigue. Almost everyone I talked to said they know they shouldn't be traveling, but, and many of them are traveling and taking some precautions. We got tested in Wilmington, Delaware, where we live. It Rick was... Thomas of Wilmington, Delaware, his dog Nova, saw his mother in a Virginia nursing home today. So you felt confident visiting your mom. Yes. So I'm glad we're able to drive home instead of flying. College student Gianna DePaul and friend Carissa Durstein are headed towards New York a little less cautious. I haven't been too concerned about it. Um, yeah, I'm just ready to be home. A little nervous that things will be a little more restricted than they were like in the summer, but it is what it is. I I miss my mom. I haven't seen her throughout this whole thing. Other so. college students I met pledging to stay in family pods and not party with friends at home. If you're going home to see your loved ones, that's great. Just be smart about it. You know, don't go and see anyone you don't have to. Just say hi and be with your loved ones and appreciate each other's company because you don't know. This Virginia family admitted to suffering from COVID fatigue. Yeah, we've been sitting home for so long and uh, got a couple of days, so we don't plan stopping. So it's only a couple of hours uh, drive. So we just want to go there, spend some time and come back. All these travelers are passing by overhead signs like this one in Maryland. Stay home for the holidays with masks on. The cases are starting to go back up again and we just want to be safe. It's That's advice safe. local residents Nicole Smith and Mike Barnett are deciding to heed, but they're not surprised by the traffic they're seeing. It's just how everybody's been cooped up. They just, I know a lot of people, I'd love to go see my family. She would love to have a family at the house. But we just don't want to take the risk. We'd rather just. Not with until... our parents' health issues. We just can't do that. I can't. I'm sorry. We can't. Here on I-95, that's the only couple I talked to who told me they are staying home. Everybody else traveling. The AAA, as you know, annually puts out numbers. Uh, they say automobile travel this holiday season is set to be down, but only by 4.3%. And the AAA estimating 1.2 million D.C. residents will be traveling in some fashion this holiday weekend. D.C. area residents. So uh, a lot of people are definitely trying to get home. The majority of them I spoke to today, especially the college kids, said they have been tested in the past three days. That seems to be the prevailing precaution people are taking. Reporting live on I-95 in Maryland, Scott Broom, WUSA 9. Hopefully these people will remain safe and we're not going to be talking about this again come Christmas time. Scott, thank you.